Hey everybody, it's me. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, but this is a response to, um, I actually don't know how to pronounce your name, but I'm responding to her video, and, um, basically it was about, you know, black men preferring white or light-skinned women. First of all, let me just say that as a black woman, there is still a difference between a light-skinned woman and a white woman. We are not the same. The things they say about white women being trained and all that kind of stuff like that is not the same. Like, skinned women are still black women. So that same attitude that they claim white women have, whatever like that, we don't have that. I have the same attitude towards that, feeling towards that, as a dark-skinned black woman. So let me just make that distinction. That's number one. Number two. Now, as far as, I've always heard people say this, and I do know that I do hear some, I actually have an ex-boyfriend that talks about my light skinnedness all the time like and I'm actually very tanned right now because I live in California and I've been out in the sun so I'm usually lighter than this this is not my natural skin color but he talks about how light skinned I am he's very very dark and I just wonder like well, are you with me because I'm light or not but at the same time I physically have not encountered a situation where I've been out with my darker skinned friends or something like that and a guy looks at me and my light-skinned friends and then looks at my dark-skinned friends like you know I like them it's never happened like that I meet so many guys that they just everybody has different preferences I, there are some guys I don't think that it's with the with the some minus the white women thing I don't think that people when men look at us I don't think that they because I know other men have preferences it's just like there's white men that prefer a blonde or a brunette, you know what I mean? Everybody has preferences. It has nothing to do with race. And I also think that skin color should not be attached to personality. Like, all because, like she was saying that she does know some light-skinned females that have that light skin. It's been, I've been told that it's called the light-skinned girl attitude. And that's true. I know some light-skinned girls that are like that. They're arrogant. They're sedity. They're, like, I'm light-skinned and I'm the ish. But at the same time, I know a lot of dark-skinned girls that have that same ugly attitude. It's ugly on whoever it is. But I, I, I just think that, I know it sounds weird, but me being on the end that I'm on, I think that light-skinned women kind of get it, get it, it's messed up. Like if a dark-skinned girl has an attitude like, um, you know, I'm the ish or whatever like that, then it's like cute on her. But if I was to have an attitude like I'm the ish, then everybody would be saying, oh, you think like that because you're light-skinned. No, I think like that because I love myself, I'm happy with myself, and can't nobody tell me that I'm not the bomb. It has nothing to do with my skin color. That's a self-confidence thing. And I have dark skin friends that think the same way about themselves. So, as far as, pre like I said, preference is preference. I personally, when I was younger, I liked anybody. I would date a light-skinned guy, a dark-skinned guy, whatever. Like right now, currently, I'm into darker-skinned males. That's what I like. Right now, I look at a light-skinned guy, unless he's extremely attractive, I'm not attracted to him. But if I see a dark-skinned male, you know, a nice chocolate boy or something like that, I go nuts. You know, do, um, Tyrese, like men that complexion, I go freaking nuts. But if you show me like some light-skinned dude, I'm not into it. So that's just preferences. I don't think that, and I don't look at it and be like, oh, dark-skinned men have a better personality. It has to do with personality. That's just physically what I'm attracted to. So this is just one of those dialogues that it'll be, it's an age-old dialogue. I don't think that anyone will ever be answered. I think that it's been taken way further than it has. Now, I can understand if, now, if some people say that in regards to the media and everything, not really black men or white men or whatever, some people say in regards to the media, that when it comes to maybe music videos or movies or television that there's more of an occurrence of light-skinned women as opposed to dark-skinned women but that's a media thing that's white America they prefer to look at light-skinned women because they remind them of white women but that's the media that's not personal preference so I think and I think it all trickles down from the media because you have dudes that look at music videos and all this kind of stuff, and they see those girls, and then they that's what they want. You know what I mean? So it's without them even really realizing they're doing it, they may see 
10 light-skinned girls in a music video and one dark-skinned girl, and then they go out and look for a, a light-skinned a light girl. So, but I, I feel her on pretty much everything she was saying. You know, I, I can't lie, I can't say that I've been in the shoes of a darker-skinned woman, but I still am a black woman. And I have friends that say, you know, you don't know what it's like to be a dark-skinned woman. We go through this, we go through that. I don't know what it's like. You know, I do know what it's like to be a black woman, though. We're nothing like white women. We may look similar to them, but we're nothing like them. I can tell you that right now. Um, but I feel like that's an old that's an old problem. You know what I mean? Like I said, I have, you know, I have white-skinned friends right now, and we're all single. And all my dark-skinned friends have boyfriends. So, I mean, what is that saying? You know what I'm saying? There's really no scientific method or way to prove everything, like I said, except for if you go to the media and look at what America wants to see or what the world wants to see. But as far as, like, personal preference, there's really no way to, to judge that. But I just want to do a quick response, like, because this is a subject that I often don't like talking about. Like, even in my social group at school, the little club that I'm in, we had a dialogue one night about, you know, light skin versus dark skin, all this stuff. And I actually didn't show up because I didn't want to hear the excuses. I mean, it's so many girls I hear out there claim about you're dark skin and you don't have this and that. But at the same time, it's like, you're not lonely. You stay having a boyfriend or somebody that's interested in you or you don't have a problem finding a job or you don't. So I think that a lot of people carry carry that around with them when they don't have to. Like, I don't have that, I don't have that light skin girl attitude. I don't think I'm better than anybody because of my skin color. If I think I'm better than somebody, it's because I'm, because of the way I carry myself. It's because I'm classy. It's because I re I'm educated. It's because of stuff like that. I don't think I'm better than anybody based on my look or my, the shade of my skin. So, yeah. Hopefully, and it's weird, like, all these people who marry people because they want to be with dark-skinned girls or they want their kids to come out a certain color, there's no guarantee. I came out lighter than both of my parents, and I have a brother and a sister. My sister's in between me and my brother, and my brother came out dark-skinned. There's no guarantee. None of us are, there's not one of us that are the same color. And I came out lighter than both of my parents. So, you know, that's also another ignorant premise that people have about picking and choosing their partners to have children with, thinking that if their partner is a certain tone that they will, um, their kids will come out a certain way. So, um, that's it guys. Thanks for letting me do a video response. I hope that, you know, you like it. You guys leave me comments, rate, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and I'll get back to you later. Alright, bye-bye. And if there's something else you guys do want to talk about, I'm willing to make a video about it. Just let me know. Bye.